There are now several business jets offering true intercontinental range in excess of 6,000 nautical miles. Currently, the longest range aircraft is Gulfstream's G650ER, which can fly just over 7,500 nautical miles. You could fly non-stop from Hong Kong to New York or from Los Angeles to Melbourne in Australia. That's great, but it means you're going to be in the aircraft for just over 14 hours, so it had better be comfortable. That's where cabin designers come in. They can transform aircraft interiors to maximize the use of space, and this can involve breaking up the cabin into different zones to suit the various needs and preferences of VIP travelers, such as this four-zone configuration, for instance. Depending on what time of the day or night your journey starts, you may very well feel the need to do some work, and that's really where this Club 4 area comes in. If four of the passengers want to work together, then we can simply fold out a table on the other side and suddenly we've got a flying conference room, as you can see. And of course, these days, uh, business aircraft are flying offices and with all the benefits of high-speed internet connections to get you ready for that big meeting that you're traveling to the other side of the world to attend. But even the most diligent executives can hardly be expected to work for the entire 14 plus hours of, a, of an intercontinental trip. So what we've got here is an area that's mainly intended for relaxation. On this side, we have a divan that would seat up to three people. There are belts on this divan. It's fully certified for takeoffs and landings, so you don't have to go and sit in some other place at that point in the flight. And over here, stowed in this beautiful credenza, is a video screen. You can be sitting here enjoying your favorite film and on that note, uh, thanks to the KA band technology on this aircraft, you can essentially stream whatever you like and have maximum possible choice for your flight. This credenza isn't only about the entertainment system though. There is an important stowage space in here. Uh, back here, we've got some drawers. And on the other side, something that I find even more exciting because I tend to get thirsty, is a wine store. Look at that, beautifully chilled white wine. And you might well have noticed the windows. They're 16% larger than, say, the G450 or the G550. And as you can see, they bring a lot of natural light into the cabin. And it's great when you want to enjoy the view. So in the third of the four living spaces on this G650, what we've got here essentially is a dining room. Uh, and as you can see, up to six people can share a meal together in a very convivial setting. There are tables on both sides, but you can get an extra leaf to fill in this space here in the aisle. So you can really have quite a lavish banquet for half a dozen people. Well, 14 or so hours, even in a jet as comfortable as this, is a very long time, and inevitably you're gonna get tired at some point. This is where this fourth compartment really comes into its own, because essentially this is a private bedroom or stateroom. The divan on this side of the room folds out and makes a complete double bed. It gets better because this is an ensuite room. It has its own bathroom just behind this door. And on this side of the stateroom, there's an extra passenger seat with its own monitor. So if the person sitting here is watching a movie that nobody else likes, this is the place for them. They can have complete privacy. And talking of privacy, as much as you may like your fellow passengers, at the end of the day, you can wish them farewell and good night until the morning and simply shut them off from the rest of you. Well, the aircraft may not need refueling on these long flights, but the passengers certainly do. Well, because this is an ultra long range aircraft and we have up upwards of 16 passengers on board, I need the capability to be able to serve at least two full meal services. Full meal services can be anything, it can be soup to nuts really. Um, and so we've got a very well equipped galley here. And I've got two beverage makers, tea and coffee. We do have the option of an espresso machine also. For the soup, um, we've got a, f a full microwave here for reheating soup, etc. We do have a very large convection oven. So this can be used to reheat food that's come from a catering company, or indeed we do actually cook from scratch uh, fresh eggs, let's say, and heating bacon. It is a convection oven, so it does cook evenly, both top, bottom, and great for actually doing a full roast. Okay. So for all the meals that we serve, I also have a large deep sink for doing all the washing up. Um, I do have 
the luxury of a very nice window at my sink as well. Instead of looking up at the clouds, I look down at the clouds. Okay. Um, plenty of space for all our cutlery, our silverware and china we have here. Plenty of storage for the glassware. Large deep ice drawers. So here we have a very large fridge freezer. Um, plenty of storage for the salads, for the fruits, uh, things, yogurts, things that need to stay cold. We also have the luxury of a freezer. So you can essentially pick up some nice gelato in Rome and be eating it halfway across the Atlantic on your way to New York, which is marvelous. And of course, just forward of the galley, we actually do have a second restroom on this aircraft. So one at the rear and one at the forward. The G650 is not the only full-blown intercontinental jet on offer. For instance, Bombardier's new Global 7000 promises range of up to 7,400 nautical miles. Dassault, Airbus and Boeing all now have jets offering range of more than 6,000 miles. While that would be punishment in the back of an airliner, in jets as well equipped as this, the time flies by. <laughs>